Hi everyone and welcome. In this review note, we are going to configure IP on our switch. I'm already uh, connected in, in user exec mode. We're going to get to global config mode to start with. And in this case, we're going to be configuring an interface. So we need to go into interface config mode and I have to specify the interface I'm going to configure. In this case, it's going to be VLAN 1. Now, that might be a little bit odd to you at this point in time. Um, interfaces are typically not physically at least named VLANs. And in fact, VLAN is actually a virtual interface. In other words, it's an interface that exists in software only. We'll worry about those more um, as we get further on into the course, but for now, um, just take it that we're going to configure VLAN 1. Press enter, you can see by the prompt, we are now in interface config mode. And the way that we configure IP on an interface is with the IP command. We are gonna specify an address, so address, and then whatever we want the address to be. So we'll enter the address that is on the schematic. For the topology, we also need a subnet mask. And that's all we have to do to configure IP. Now, the other thing we do have to do is enable the interface. And the way we do that is with the no shutdown command. The reason we do that is the way that we shut down or disable an interface in Cisco IOS is with the shutdown command from interface config. And with many things Cisco, the way that you negate a command is put no in front of it. So if we don't want it to be shut down, we put in no shutdown. So type in no shut, press enter. We'll see once that interface is enabled that we'll get a message back up on the console. And you can see here that it says that interface VLAN one has changed state to up. So that means the interface is now enabled. And that's all we have to do for that. That's a wrap for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you and we'll see you next time.